Hi everyone, uh, my name is Tony Catt, Director of Catapult Wealth. Um, today I'm joined by Andrew Matt, the Director of Altitude, and today we wanted to talk more about the Catapult Foundation. Um, a lot of us, um, uh, a lot of people have been asking about what it's about and how it works and we thought this, we'd use this as an opportunity to tell you more about it. Andrew, straight off the bat, um, the Catapult Foundation got set up approximately, well, it's actually close to 10 years ago now. Um, do you want to just tell everyone about why we set it up and, and what the purpose of it was originally? Yeah, sure. So, Tony, as you know, we, you know, Catapult Wealth will be 10 this year and mm -hmm. we set up the, the foundation at the same time. And um, we set it up because our, our, our values um, and, and the way we like to do business was that out of financial planning, you know, there was commissions and, and we had a uh, I call a whole lot of hidden fees that clients used to get charged by previous advisors and, and financial planners and, and that wasn't in line with our values and so where we could we turned it, turn those commissions off or gave them back to our clients but for the ones that we couldn't we said you know what let's let's you know put those away to one side and we'll give them away to to people who need that money more than us so mm. we decided that we'd set up our own our, our own foundation yep. um, 10 years ago um, and you know, today we've given away oh, a bit over seven hundred thousand dollars to to South Australian um, you know charities and people in need. So. Yeah, and that was really the first, the start of it, wasn't it? And yeah. then in, and then um, we we decided to set the foundation up, um, which was great. And then we had to decide who we we're going to give the money to. Yeah. So um, we've had a we had some clear philosophies around that. Do you want to elaborate a little bit more on what? how we chose different charities and, and what were some of the underlying um, uh, messaging around picking those? Yeah, so, I mean, what we focused on, we, we sat down as a, I guess, as a group of directors at the time and said, it's important for us to support our, our own backyard. So, okay. you know, look after people in South Australia. Um, we, we decided we wanted to have a focus on kids and, and youth uh, at risk. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to you know, help the, the disabled and, and you know, generally peop people at risk, you know, yeah. the elderly. So you know, the, some of the main sponsors, or not sponsors, you know, partners that we've, we've supported uh, have been charities like Variety, mm -hmm. uh, Operation Flinders, which works with at-risk youth, mm -hmm. um, Catherine House, which mm -hmm. is a women's shelter, mm -hmm. Hutt Street Centre, which we know you know helps the the homeless, mm -hmm. um, technical aids for the disabled, disabled. Uh, yep. uh, among some of them, and, and recently we've started to support the Breakthrough Foundation, which you know works on you know mental health support mm. for for kids and and for youth. So. Um, you know, and I, I guess it's really important for us, you know, to look at home and and, and support those organisations mm. rather than, you know, big global organisations that that have a far wider, far wider reach. So, um, you know, and I, I think the important thing, Tony, uh, as well for all our clients is this isn't just a catapult wealth thing. No. Yeah, you know, it, it's been. Yeah, perhaps some people think that it's a catapult wealth thing, but it's much more than that, isn't it? Mm. And we've been, as a, a group of companies, um, we refer to ourselves here at Charles Street as Hub 39, um, all the companies in the in the group um, are heavily involved in the foundation. So we've got in excess of 50 employees in the group and all the employees support the foundation, even on a weekly basis where we have gold coin donations for casual day on Fridays and, and everyone buys into it and it's an important part of our culture um, business wide. And, and so all of the, the businesses such as Altitude, um, Master Tax, Dale Wood, um, Peak, Super um, and uh, Affinitas all support the business. Um, and, and as I said, it's, um, and the, the group as a whole uh, have bought into um, the philosophy and, and what we're trying to do achieve with the foundation. Um, one other thing while I also talk on that topic, we made it pretty clear right from the start too that we wanted to make sure that whatever the, the amount we were donating to any of these charities was sustainable too. Yeah. So, because budgeting for these foundations and charities can be hard and they don't want to have years where the money's going in and money's not coming in. Yep. Um, you know, that, that was a pretty big plank of, of why we chose the amounts that we chose yep. to do as well. Um, so it was sustainable from our end and, and predictable yep. from their end. Yeah, correct. And, and you know, one of the things that we really want to do from now on is we, we want to uh, have a lot more client engagement with the foundation mm. you know, as opposed to it, it just being with us and, and you know, looking forward you know, to, to help these organisations, you know, plan and, and have that, you know, funding available to, to run key projects or, or key programs to help, you know, in their areas. Um, we're going to be running more and more events where we're looking to engage clients and, and 
you know, get them to, to support and you know, maybe make some of their you know, philanthropic decisions mm. easier mm. Um, as opposed to having you know, a whole, whole raft of, of different choices. You know, they, they might just choose to funnel it back through us, through our foundation, and for us to make the decisions on, on where, it, it, where it gets attributed and it, it then can have a lot more impact yeah. in terms of going to a, a specific project or, or something like that. So Yeah, I mean, it's been really, it's been an exciting journey in terms of connecting A, the team, and now I think, at which we're, I think we've, we've offered volunteer days to the team and um, where they get paid to go, uh, basically a day a year to go out and help a lot of the charities and seeing them involved in packing it at, at uh, Operation Flinders or helping one of the, the Catherine House do a backyard up and, and seeing real change and yeah. seeing where your money's going uh, I think is really uh, crucial um, and, and even being able to then um, part of this client engagement process and holding some events and so on is part of um, I'll call it the connecting helping connect these smaller charities to corporate Australia yep. or to corporate South Australia so that they can then help tell their stories yep. and they can help get that message to a wider environment. No, you're right. and, and, and I mean I think you know, your, your point Tony about um, you know, the projects and really making a difference. I mean, some of the stuff where, where the money's, um, you know, the money we've donated's gone, you know, we've, we've sent a number of teams, um, you know, average kids uh, on Operation Flinders, um, or are they, they're not excursions, they you know, like- Eight day- uh, Experiences or, or character building experiences. Yeah. You know, we, we've helped buy a bus for some kids in, yeah. in the country. Ramco. Yeah. Ramco. Um, we, we've, um, Christmas yeah, presents. Painted walls. We last year we we did a donation for for all the variety kids. Where you know I think we bought you know well over two hundred Christmas gifts mm. for for kids. You know Christmas parties and Easter parties that mm -hmm. that we've we've funded in you know not just in in the CBD but also in some regional areas that that we support as well. So it's about taking the funds direct to the source. Yes. And, and, and making a real contribution to a to a community or or to an area. To, to help them, you know, progress or advance or, or provide benefits that, you know, to those that need it more than us. So, I, I mean, on that, the Operation Flinders thing, one of the um, the great things that um, I've had the pleasure of doing has been going back out. I know recently uh, we supported the Wakery um, uh, High School and going to Operation Flinders and and going back up and delivering the certificates and hearing the kids and meeting the parents. Uh, as part of their debrief at the end of the program um, was was enormously satisfying seeing seeing the outcomes from from all those involved so um, we, you see some real change cool. so how can our clients get involved well we're going to be holding more and more events we're, we're, we're talking about um, a variety of things that will connect um, the clients to the charity and and if you're having um, uh, or thinking about your philanthropic um, uh, future and you're looking at how you might donate money to make a difference, make sure you keep an eye out for um, the Catapult Foundation um, invitations, events coming up. Might be, it might involve um, sponsoring an event, it might involve coming to a lunch, it might involve um, donating some goods or, yep. or services for raffles. I know we, we raised well over seven thousand dollars at a quiz night for Operation Flinders last year, and all of those things, everything can make a difference. And I think no matter how you think you can help, um, we're open to all suggestions and yep. we're open to all ideas. And um, and you know we have a great team here that'll put it together for you and 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 turn it into to uh, a cash potentially that goes and helps one of these charities. Yeah. And, and even if it's a, just as something as simple as a cash donation yes. that you, you'd like to make, you know, please feel free just to, to contact the office and um, you know, we can, we can sort that something out from there. Um, Absolutely. Obviously everything that you do with the foundation is tax deductible. So yep. um, yeah, so th thanks everybody for listening um, and stay tuned for some of those announcements which Tony, uh, Tony mentioned. Thank you.